Ohio State beats Notre Dame 21-10 at the shoe. And I mean, I'm speechless. I am speechless. There was so much about this game that I think you can draw from for both teams. Because for Notre Dame, we said in our preview, I need to find a way to x that out of my vocabulary. If Notre Dame throws the first punch, it's going to be a game. And well, what do you know? At half, it's 10-7 Irish. <laughs> that, that punch was landed by Notre Dame. They threw that first punch, and Ohio State just sort of wobbles. Credit to them. They collected themselves, they gathered themselves, and they found a way to win this football game. Jackson Smith and Jigba goes out of the game early, and you could tell for Ohio State that threw them off balance. They were in second gear offensively. Never usually in, I mean, usually they're in that third or fourth gear, normally just going pedal to the metal, and they weren't able to really find that rhythm like they wanted to without Jackson Smith and Jigba on the field. And Ryan Day in his post-game press conference almost seemed to relish in the fact they were able to win this game tough. Because you know Ohio State was hearing it all offseason. Ohio State's not that tough. Ohio State, yeah, a lot of talent. What do they have outside of that? Ryan Day said, we wanted to prove that we're more than just talented. We're gritty. And folks, 21 points from this Ohio State offense, this all-world Ohio State offense, I understand no JSN, but still, they didn't have a game where they scored 21 points last year. I mean, they scored more than 21 in every single game a year ago, including their losses. And for the defense to hold Marcus Freeman and Tyler Buckner and Michael Mayer to 10 points, enormous victory for Ohio State to get it done in the fashion they did. Now, looking at Notre Dame for a second, we got to acknowledge some things about Notre Dame. Everyone was talking about, hey, they're number five in the country. Is that too high? Hey, if, if Ohio State just absolutely blows them out at home like we think they're capable of doing, how much does that say about the ranking system and, and what's wrong at Notre Dame? And Notre Dame just walked in there, made it very clear they don't care about the spread. They don't care about the horseshoe. They don't care about all these things that are supposedly being planned at Ohio State with going to the playoff and playing for the national title. They came in there and gave Ohio State all that they could handle was really impressed by the way they executed their game plan. With Tyler Buckner playing efficient football, was he a game breaker? No, but he managed the game well. They didn't necessarily get all they needed to get on offense, but to be able to slow the game down, keep C.J. Stroud on the sideline for the majority of it, and to control the tempo of that game, that was huge. That was what they needed to do going in to be able to get it done. Now, ultimately, Ohio State just countered with the exact right jab. Because Notre Dame threw that nasty right hook. And like we said, we saw Ohio State wobble a little bit. They were not themselves. And for them to be able to win ugly, I think says a lot about Ohio State going forward the rest of the year. Because last year, this Ohio State team probably loses this game, if we're being honest. They probably don't have the grit and toughness up front to withstand what Notre Dame was bringing with the run game, with the offensive line. They probably don't have the ability to withstand that, if we're being 100% honest with right. I mean, right now, that's probably the reality. For Ohio State to win ugly sends a message to the rest of the college football world. More importantly, sends a message to themselves, proves it to themselves that, hey, if we don't have it on a certain day offensively, we can lean on the defense. They didn't have that luxury a year ago. We can lean on the defense. Mike Hall played phenomenal. He was all over the place last night. And then they ran the ball really well, too. Ohio State was able to turn and hand the ball to their backs to eventually win that game on the final drive. That's what sealed the deal was the run game. Wasn't C.J. Stroud going over the top to Jackson Smith? Wasn't C.J. Stroud going deep to Emeka Egbuka, who did have a huge game, by the way. He's going to be a stud for them. Surprise, surprise, Ohio State has another good wide receiver. For them to be able to win up front and win tough, it's a very big deal. It's a very big deal because they will have to do it the rest of the way. They will have to find themselves in another game that they win because they won ugly. Credit to Ryan Day. Credit to Jim Knowles for walking in and 
revamping this defense in the way they did. They've always had talent. They've always had four and five stars all over this defense. But to be able to get everybody on the same page so early in the year, this is a complex defense to learn. For Jim Knowles to get the defense headed the right direction is another really encouraging sign for Ohio State. So people were ready to say, is Notre Dame overrated? No. Notre Dame is a good football team. Notre Dame is a legit football team. They're going to win a lot of games. I still think they're a nine-win football team. I feel a lot more confident saying that after last night. Both programs are going to be really, really good, but that was a lot of fun to watch. Didn't necessarily go the way that I think a lot of us thought it would, but 21-10, Ohio State gets it done at home. Ryan Day and company win ugly. It's just the way they like it. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.